recent trip to the World Soybean Research Conference in South Africa, we had the chance to talk with world record holder Kip Cullers. Kip farms in southwest Missouri and claimed a world record by growing 160.6 bushels of soybeans per acre in 2010. He mentioned in his conference address that corn was more of a challenge for him. Soybeans seemed easier. Soybeans are such a forgiving crop. You know, if you're growing indeterminate beans like you would in Nebraska, you know, soybeans are going to bloom four to six weeks. Where corn, you know, you've got that one week tight window that, that's going to pollinate. And, and the nice thing about the soybeans is they are forgiving, which is a lot easier for me than corn. So I find corn a lot more challenging. You say you change everything up every year, is that right? I mean, do you, do you almost start over every year, essentially? It depends. Yeah. We got a couple new tricks up our sleeves we're going to try this year that, that I've been kind of playing a little bit with and I've been thinking a lot about. I spend a lot of time on airplanes, so I, I have a lot of time to think and it's like, what, what kind of crazy idea can I come up with? And, you know, like I said uh, today, that 85% of my experiments fail miserably. So I got a couple new things we're going to try this year. Hopefully they work. And, you know, if they don't, hey, there's next year. Is it more about the curiosity than the yield for you? It's more about what can I learn to go take to all my normal production acres? Because, you know, excluding the last two droughts we've had, you know, we mainly grow soybeans double crop behind wheat or barley or green beans. And we've been able to average 100 bushels across all of our acres and with a, you know, a very, very low input cost on them. So that's the reason I do my experiments. Is what can I learn and what can I take from that and go and apply to all my normal production acres? You said today you, uh, the farmers need to think outside the box and I can hear the guys at home saying, but my banker wants me to produce X number of bushels. What do you recommend to people like that? Go play on 10 acres. You know, I was in North Dakota one time here a couple years ago and a farmer farmed about 8,000 acres and he kept asking what this 10 acres was going to cost him. And finally I looked at him and I said, man, if you can't afford to go play on 10 acres and go throw the book at it, you're broke and don't know it. So, you know, look at it like that, 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 you know, just go try something, try something new, try something different. I always challenge farmers all around the world, do something different in 2013 than you did in 2012. Are there easy things, cheap things, seed treatments, uh, spraying at a certain level for aphids that you would recommend, cover crops, leaving residue, anything like that? You know, soybean seed treatment is just a no-brainer. There's no reason everybody's not already doing that. Uh, it's, you can't see one and two bushels from the combine seed. It's cheap. It's a guaranteed payback. Uh, you know, fungicides works really well for me. You know, I don't live in Nebraska, so I don't know how they perform up there, but fungicides is a big key role to us. Uh, we did a new deal last year on our corn, and it's a, it's a new product that, that was developed actually for corn production, for uh, seed corn production, and it, it was Corgens, the name of it, made by DuPont. We had no earworms. It was kind of expensive, but imagine if you have an earworm that eats three ears, three rows around every ear, how much yield loss there is. We had not one kernel damaged in our contest field, and that, that particular field averaged 321 bushels. So that's something new right there that, that I did last year that we're going to go incorporate on a lot of acres next year. What do you look at when you go out and scout? You said you scout every morning. What do you look for? Is it just kind of a trying to be intimate with the plant almost? Almost. I, I'm just kind of a seed of the pants guy. And, you know, I can, you can look and tell, you know, if the plant don't feel well. So a plant's just like you and I. If it don't feel well, it's not going to produce. If it feels good, you know, it don't mind to go jog two miles in the morning. But if it don't feel good, it don't want to do that. So it's, you know, and put that back in perspective. If it don't feel well, it's not going to produce. But if it does feel well, it's going to produce. How dry is it in Missouri? What are you, uh, are you, are you concerned about? about that this year? I mean, I'm not as up to date on that part as I should be probably. We're the, the uh, dot where it started at two years ago and it just keeps expanding out. Um, last week, we had our first one inch rain since April of last year. So we're pretty dry.